I know how tempting it is for you to paint something and hide it away. Hiding it away and locking it up for it never to see the light of day is one of the most damaging things you can do for yourself as an artist. I know, I get it. What if you've painted something you don't like and you just don't want people to see? But what if I told you that showing your work is and can be the most life-changing thing you can do for yourself? In this video, I wanna share five ways in which showing my work has helped change my life and how it can change yours too. But before I do, click that subscribe button. If you like what you've seen so far, I wanna give you a bit of a backstory on how I started in art. So I was never one of those exceptional students in school. I was good at certain things and I was good at art and I knew I enjoyed it. But I wasn't a shining star, let's put it that way. And I can remember there was a, maybe a handful of students who would always get A stars. So I studied GCSE art and A level art, and then I went on to doing a textile design degree. And this is where I learned how to design, but my learning of art stopped at A level. Once I finished my degree, I went straight into teaching in a school. And as rewarding as it was, I knew that I had a calling for something else. I knew I was meant to do something else with my life. And so that is when I started my Instagram account in 2016. And I didn't know what I was doing. I went into it completely blind. And looking back now, the one thing that I didn't do at the start, which really helped so much with the process, with learning, with growing, was I did not share my work. So for four years, I did not share much of my work at all on Instagram. It was finished products of things. It was never the process. And perfectionism basically got a hold of me in this time because this was the first time that I was no longer a student in school. I was labeling myself as an artist and it was just really scary. What work was ready to be seen by people and what work wasn't? And it was just hard for me to kind of navigate that process. And the whole of that time, I just remember my perfectionism was disguised in excuses, 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 excuses. Um, and I'd say things like, well, I don't have real life flowers to paint from, so I'm not going to bother to paint today. Or I didn't have the tools that I needed, the professional tools that everyone else is using. I don't know what they are, so there's no point painting. And I would just come up with a whole load of excuses like this, and this lasted for years. But I knew I needed something to change, and, and when lockdown hit the world in April 2020, that was when things changed, and I just wanted to do something with that time. I wanted that time to feel like it was worth something. And I said to myself that I'm going to make this commitment to paint every single day. And I decided that it doesn't matter if it's not finished, it doesn't matter if I don't like it, I'm just going to share this piece that I've created every day with my Instagram followers. And I like the idea of my Instagram being treated like more of a, a sketchbook or a, a log of where I was in that moment in my head at the time. Anyway, fast forward to now and here are five ways in which showing my work has changed my life. Number one, it's helped me to connect to people. It's also helped me to find my style and connect to myself. So as we were in lockdown, I had a three-year-old and it was really hard to find time to paint. So I would paint in her nap times and I would paint early in the morning and I'd literally wake up at five in the morning and that was the first thing I would do. And because everyone was in lockdown, people were online a lot more. So I would be painting every morning and I would post everything that I'd painted. And it was almost like I was saying good morning through my art to people. And they would be sending me DMs saying, oh, I really love how you did that. Oh, that's so awesome. That's really creative. And it was just that connection with people that I really enjoyed having. And I sparked so many conversations with people and it also forced me to talk about my own work. So when you talk about your work, you're forced to reflect on your work, which is something that people maybe find hard to do or don't do very often. And when you reflect on your work, that is where the growth is. This was also a period in which I found my style, but I think that's going to be a video for another day. Moving on, number two, practicing in public. Showing my work every day was 
like a new way of operating and I was getting used to the idea of showing the very rough beta version of myself and it was always the work in progress version of myself that I was putting out there. So in my head I knew that that this what I was creating was nowhere near perfect, it was nowhere near where I wanted it to be but here it is and I'm accepting it as it is and I'm putting it out there into the world and I'm wanting people to accept that particular version of myself and doing it in this way actually helped me to overcome perfectionism. So coming to terms in your mind of this is what I'm happy with right now and this is what I want people to see right now, that was a massive way for me to overcome perfectionism and I basically accepted that whatever I was creating was a process leading me on to the next thing and so even though I might have had a finished painting it was all part of a bigger picture of where I was going and what kind of style I was going for and what kind of mood I was trying to capture. So even though I posted a picture of a final finished flower, in my head it just wasn't finished, it was never finished. And it actually then became a process rather than a product. So point number three, I wasn't the best, but I knew I was relatable. I was a beginner at watercolor and I knew there was a big gap between what I was painting and what I was imagining and I knew I needed to produce a lot of work to get there and that work that I was producing, it just so happened that I was showing my work and sharing it with people. I knew I was a, a complete beginner. I think what was really special about that time in my life was that people were connecting to me because I was sharing my personality but also I was sharing my level of skill and so the people that were of that same level were also connecting to me. And the whole thing just gave this massive relatability factor, which, which was really nice to build those relationships with people at that time. Point number four, I sold my first painting and I just remember when I had that sale come through and I was literally in tears because it was just one of those things that I dreamt about and I never thought it was possible and it wouldn't have happened if I never shared my work. So yeah, I literally cried when I found out that I, I had sold my daffodils um, that I painted and it was such a milestone in my career that um, I'll never forget that. So, and it was all down to me being brave enough to share my work. And when you share your work, you are practicing in public, but you're also logging in public. You're, you're almost like working in your sketchbook in public. and. You know, not every page in your sketchbook is going to be perfect. It, there's going to be a lot of scribbles, a lot of marks you don't want or you don't like. But when you're able to practice in public, it becomes your journey that you've documented. And you can see how far you've come and other people can see how far you've come as well, which helps them to appreciate your journey, but it also helps them to understand themselves as well. So they don't see this amazing, fantastic masterpiece painting and think, wow, you were just born with that gift. And they can see that, you know, growth takes time. And the idea of logging all your work in public is just, it really helps overcome comparison. I've talked about comparison in one of my previous videos. You can check it out here. So that is my five ways that showing my work has changed my life and I really hope that encourages you to post something small even, post something that's a little snippet of your day and share it with the world because you are so unique so you have a different way of looking at the world, a very unique way of looking at the world and whenever you create art it's your perspective which is like nobody else is and everyone is special for this unique quality and that is why everyone should share their work because you don't know how you're going to change somebody else's life by sharing what you're doing you don't know the impact that it has on them or where they are they might be at a place where they want to quit you don't know how that affects where you are in five years time and how you can always just look back at what you've done and think about think about other ideas that you might have by looking at your old work. There's so many reasons why you should show your work and I've just come up with five short quick reasons 
how this has helped me and I hope that it inspires you to share your work. You can check out my Instagram and you can scroll all the way down on my Instagram to see where I actually started and how far I've come. And I've left it on there on purpose because I always think that it's important for people to see growth and to see that it's not something that I was born with. It's a muscle that you have to exercise and it's something that you need to train yourself to grow in. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and if you've enjoyed watching this then hit subscribe and let me know in the comments that you subscribe so maybe we can have a chat about some of the things I've talked about today. Thanks for watching guys.